Hey everybody, you're very welcome back to In Forest and Lands. I'm Joe Price, Wilderness Skills Instructor, and the woman pushing the buttons, as always, is Ida Olsen. Hello everyone. <laughs> We're out here at a school in Farmland again for the second video in our Tarpology series, and I'm going to take you through the simple, but also super, A-frame setup. First things first, before you start building your A-frame shelter, you want to have a certain amount of equipment with you. You want to have your square tarp, your three by three meter square tarp in sill nylon or whatever configuration that you want to have it in. You need a minimum of five tent stakes. You can have more for extra security, but five is the minimum. Four for your tarp, one for your ridge line. You're also going to need your ridge line set up. Mine is set up with power cord, and you're also going to need two, at minimum, two Prusik loops attached to your ridge line. If you don't know how to attach Prusik loops to your ridge line, you can check out our other video, but it is the bare minimum you're going to need to start with in the woods for a frame shelter. So as always, with any project in the woods, the best place to get things right is at the start. Set yourself up for a good going. So when you pull your tarp out of the bag, there's going to be all sorts going on. Tie outs here, there, everywhere. It could be windy all over the place. So you need to kind of get familiar with your tarp for the setup that you're going to use. So when you're doing an A-frame setup like this, you want to first start with your ridge line about hip height. I always like to start here. So if I want my A-frame on the ground, I set my ridge line up hip height. If I'm in a hammock or it's a nice day and I want my A-frame higher, I set my ridge line up about eye level or a little bit more. So there's your kind of two levels. But with your tarp, you can either add a bit of colored ribbon or a bit of power cord to these particular things. I don't because I use my tarp in multiple configurations. But when you're building an A-frame or anything that you want even coverage on either side, you want to use what's known as the center line or the ridge line of the tarp. Now from this side, you don't know what that kind of looks like unless you actually are physically holding it because a corner is very distinct. It has its two 90 degree bits. This one doesn't, but if you turn it over, you will see that on the inside of the tarp, where the two pieces of fabric are welded together with another bit of laminate and another membrane, that is your center line. So you want to find the center line on this side of your tarp, and then you want to find the center line on the other side of your tarp. So we free a Prusik loop from the bunch. This is going to be our furthest corner or our outside wall. We're taking our center line tie out, as you can see, the welded here. And then what we're going to do is attach this to our ridge line. Now you can have a carabiner on these tie outs. I prefer not to have it. But you'd basically take your toggle, or you can take a stick or a tent peg, you can pass it through, and it sits like this. If you haven't got your toggle set up like this, you can take a tent stake, or you can take a stick and your loop. You pass your loop through your other loop, like so, so it rests on it. Take your tent stake or your stick, pass it through, and let it rest together. And that is an alternative method to do. I've used this Prusik loop to show you the center of my ridge line. I'm roughly here in the center of it. I've attached my two corner pieces to my Prusik loops. And as you can see, the tarp has no real shape. So that's why getting to know your tarp and its center line is very, very good for this. And once we've attached it to our Prusik loops, we simply stretch one this way. Then we take our other one and we stretch one this way. And then I can see here the center of my tarp, which will always have this big square guy out, if you've chosen it right, is just a little bit off. So I can let this one go here. I can let this one go here. I can pull this one further this way. Meh, let me get it about right there. There we go. A few mil won't hurt anybody. And as you can see, our tarp is now taut. We have an even number of material either side of it, and we're getting ready to set up the A-frame. Most people set their ridge line up underneath the tarp. There's no real need for this. It's nice, but the reason why I don't do it is because of the membrane that we talked about in our previous video on this side. And this is my oldest tarp, and you can see how healthy and clean the membrane is because of how I pack it. But also, the ridge line in windy conditions and over time will wear away at this membrane here. So I like to keep the outside of my tarp touching the outside of my ridge line, and that way I get longer life out of my tarp. But that is how you set up your initial start points. So first I want to talk about tent stake choice before you put your tarp into the ground. These are the more common ones, these ultra lightweight metal ones or metal composite ones. They do have a tiny little bit of a hook up there, but I find that it doesn't catch too well when you're using tarps. This is the ones that I use. These are ABS plastic ones. They have this huge hook up the top, this nice flat bit here for hitting across. And also these tent stakes are very durable. In fact, this is the first pack of tent stakes, this Coleman tent stake 
I bought a pack of 10, I still have six left. And the metal ones and these are negligible when it comes to weight. But I find that these ones for this type of camping work super well. If you have to do different mountain environments or maybe snow and stuff, you need different tent stakes. But the ones that I recommend are these, they're big, they're chunky, you can hit them with a hammer and they're good for getting in the ground, getting in the ground fast. We simply stick it into our tie out. And as you can see, I have a corner piece here. It's got my 90-90, runs up to my center piece. I can literally slide it up, it catches in that big hook, pull it out. And the way you want to put a 10 stake into the ground is you want to put a 10 stake into the ground at a 45 degree angle. A 10 stake that goes in straight will just pop back out. A 10 stake that goes in this is obviously not going to work. But using this T shape, if you put it in at a 45 degree angle, it's going to want to one, pull your tarp tighter as you put it up, but also your tarp is then pulling like this. And that is the correct way to use a 10 stake. We stab it in it. Slide it up to catch on the hook. I got the flat part of my 10 stake here with the T cross. I bring it out further than I need to go and I swoop it in to where I need it to be. I stand back up, give it a step with my foot to drive it in a bit more. Again, why I like these 10 stakes, they got that square bit on the top. Job's a good one, repeat on all four sides. Okay, so there you have it folks, a very simple A-frame shelter, shot in real time so you can see how fast it is for these to set up. When you go to set it up like you've seen me just do, like tightening the nuts on a car, the same applies to tents. You want to start diagonally in each corner so you can get it tight like a tiger across all these seams here. The tighter your tarp is going to be, the more water resistant and shedding properties it's going to have. If it has to flop and stuff, you'll get pools and pools will eventually waste the hydro or come through the hydrostatic head. There's plenty of space underneath this tarp, as you can see. I could quite happily get under here, be comfortable, be low, perfectly tight up here on the ridge line. It's quick to take up and it's quick to take down. And this is your base starting point for all your future tarp setups. Knowing where your center line is, knowing where your corner point is and where to start your ridge line. Low to the ground or high up off the ground, waste eye level. And that is it, the super A-frame tarp shelter. Super quick, super fast, maximum cover, high speed, low drag, a classic. So until the next video guys, peace.